Okay, so to continue our coverage over the Dawn of X, we actually pick up with X-Men number 7. Now, we actually pick up with Melanie Guthrie. Now, Melanie Guthrie is the sister to Sam Guthrie, and Sam Guthrie is Cannonball. Now, with that being said, Melanie Guthrie is very important for this storyline. Also, I do want to mention that Sam and Melanie are only two children of 10 from their family. Of course, meaning that their mother and father had 10 kids. Sam is the first and Melody is the fourth. Now, the reason why Melody is so important is because Melody is going to go through the Crucible. Now, the Crucible has been around in Marvel Comics for a good period of time, but this is Jonathan Hickman taking the Crucible and doing something new with it. And apparently, for Melody, it is very important. Now, I do want to mention one more thing about Melody. Melody had lost her powers back on M Day, and M Day is a very special day because that is the day Scarlet Witch said no more mutants, and millions of mutants across the world were depowered. And so, Melody was one of them. Now, with that being said, she never got her powers back like most mutants did. And so the Crucible could be something about that right there, her getting her powers back. But then we jump over to the home of the Summers, Scott Summers, Alex Summers, and Gabriel Summers, the Summers brothers. Now, Jean Grey also lives there as well because she's in love with Scott Summers, and I think they're married, I have no idea. And Wolverine is there too because he's banging Jean Grey on the side. But anyways, you have Scott Summers coming to Wolverine to ask about his opinions about the Crucible. Because of Scott Summers, he's kind of like, it's dark, it's strange, it's weird. Like, how can we sit there and let someone die? And this is Wolverine saying, because we don't have a choice. You're just a captain, and I'm just a leader of X-Force. We have to let things be. Now, let me explain what the Crucible was and what it's going to be now later on. But what the Crucible was back in the late 1980s, the early 1990s of X-Men comics, it was used as an underground ring where you had two mutants forced to fight against each other. Of course, for the entertainment of people who were watching the fight. Now, Shadow King later on brought the Crucible back and used it as a way to find high potential slaves, powerful slaves to be under his control. Now, again, like I said, this is Jonathan Hickman doing something new and different with the Crucible, but I will see, I will explain that later on. Now, with that being said, you have Wolverine say he hates the idea of the Crucible, but he doesn't want to talk about it. So if Scott Summers wants to talk about it, go find a priest. And you have Scott Summers say, fine, I'll go find a priest. And of course, that priest is Nightcrawler. Now, I do want to mention one thing. Nightcrawler is very, very religious. So if you're new to Marvel Comics and you never read X-Men comics, that is something you should know. That Nightcrawler is very religious. Now, he is very, very religious in the Ultimate Marvel Universe. And matter of fact, it makes him go crazy. And we covered those books. And you should watch the entire Ultimate X-Men videos because... Honestly, to see Nightcrawler change from the beginning to the end was crazy. But in this universe, he's just religious, but he knows what he must do to help the X-Men out. Now, with that being said, this is Scott Summers asking Nightcrawler, how do you feel about the Crucible? And Nightcrawler says, I hate it because now we have to sit there and watch a mutant die. And you're like, wait, somebody is actually going to die? on this island, Kakoa's nation, someone's gonna die in the Crucible. Now, this is the moment we see Scott Summers and Nightcrawler watching over Exodus. Now, Exodus is an old character I do not wanna dive into in this video because honestly, he has a lot of history. He's a cool character, a very powerful character, but I don't wanna spend my time explaining who he is in this video. But I will explain what he's doing right now because you have Exodus talking to a group of children about the Crucible because this is the first one ever on Kakoa Island. And so it's big, it's huge. And so you have children wondering, 
what is the crucible and that is the moment you have exodus explained that the crucible is a way for a mutant a d power mutant to die but come back powered because remember what i said earlier melanie guthrie was a mutant but she was depowered by the scarlet witch back on m day where of course she said no more mutants but melody never got her powers back and so it seems like what's going to happen right now is that she is going to be killed in the crucible as a way to come back to life as a mutant once again to get her powers back and that is why it's so big and huge because you're basically being killed now remember when it comes to kakoa they have the ability to bring someone back to life with the five five mutants who have the ability to bring someone back to life and so that right there is what's going to happen melody is going to die in the crucible but of course she's going to come back as a mutant no longer depowered but there is a tad bit more to the crucible and so this is the moment you have scott summers and nightcrawler actually arrive at the stadium the arena where the crucible is going to be at where melody must fight for her life or well, really she must fight to die now this right here is very huge because melody is going to fight against apocalypse now of course when it comes to apocalypse throughout marvel comics he was known for one thing well a lot of things but for one thing he was known for was only the strong can live the weak must perish and so with that saying it's apocalypse kind of putting right now here in a stadium that melody is weak because she is just a human and with that being said she does not deserve to hold her mutant name her x-men code name and so if she wants to earn that back she must fight like a warrior fight like a mutant and he will kill her but of course when she does die she'll be brought back to life it's apocalypse in reality saying hey only the strong can live show me how strong you are are you weak are you strong you may fight like a warrior to the death or fight like some kind of punk who dies at the end you must show me how strong you are and so everyone is watching melody have a sword fight with apocalypse and for her family the only thing they can do is just sit there and watch now for nightcrawler this right here does bother him on a religious scale because for him he's kind of like there's all these different people here and we all have different beliefs but seeing something like this it plays around with our beliefs it questions our beliefs but also this right here now getting back to the battle you do have apocalypse kind of giving almost everything to melody like he's not making it easy for her if she wants to die like a warrior die like a mutant not a human she must fight and fight and fight until he actually kills her and of course at the very end he does kill her and so this is how jonathan hickman took something old and made something new with it something very interesting for the dawn of x where of course we do pick up moments after the crucible where of course we have melody coming back as a mutant it worked and so you do have nightcrawler and scott summer continue to have their conversation about how this thing right here this crucible it plays around with their beliefs it's very dark and scary for a brand new nation like ours but at the same time to see melody come back to life as a mutant now having her powers back it's a beautiful thing and so it makes you question is this right or is this wrong and why is it right and why is it wrong those questions are left for you to answer but this is a new thing for the x-men to do if you are a depower mutant who lost your powers by a scarlet witch and you come to our island we have a way to give you your powers back but you must fight like a warrior fight like a mutant to die and then be brought back to life but this is where we are going to end today's comic book video so please leave me a like down below and subscribe also if you have any suggestions on books i should read well please let me know in the comments below because you never know your suggestion could be a future video down the road later guys